Okay. The Battle of An Jalet. Mongol versus Egyptian Mamluk War. Let's go. Some if you want to go see bonus content, go over to our Patreon link in the description box down below. Blocks. It's unlimited access to over a million stock videos, songs, and more, all in one subscription. Sorry, Broski. More on After the tears and screams, fields of bones were left buried in silence. The butcher of Baghdad, Hulagu Khan, has left this land. Okay. His eye is fixed on Syria. The Sultan of Aleppo and Damascus, Al Nasir Yusuf, has failed to go to Hulagu and the Mongols in submission. Mm. Mongol envoys now go to him with a warning destroy your fortresses and submit to the great Khan in the east, or suffer his wrath. Hmm. Some in the Sultan's court favor surrender, know but the Sultan believes is? his we cities do. can weather a siege. One commander called What's Baybars the beseeches the Sultan to rally his armies to meet the Mongols in the field. His eyes silvered by a cataract, this hardened warrior from Egypt warns that walls will not avail against the Mongols. Okay. If he's if he's the leader of the opposing army, I don't want none of it. <laughs> nah, bro, he could he could be one of these bad men. That's what I'm saying. He looks he looks nasty. I don't want to be dealing with him. He he can actually <laughs> see in that eye. <laughs> the Sultan disregards him, and so Baybars gathers his followers and leaves Syria. Come on, Baybar. Are you going to be able to Death stop the Mongols? You reckon, yeah? Yeah. The Mongols breached the walls of Pretty Aleppo sure within a week. Happened. From the high citadel, the defenders are forced to watch the massacre of their yeah. people. The garrison holds out for weeks before surrendering. Another fortress in the region also relinquishes the fight. And it is written, mm. They came down under amnesty, but Hulagu Khan was extremely angry with them and ordered them killed at once along with their wives and children. That's the wrath of the Mongols you were talking the about, Jack. surrenders without resistance. Mongol-appointed administrators promptly established control over Syrian cities, thereby uprooting the last of the Ayyubid dynasty. Yep. Only a decade before, the Islamic Ayyubids had triumphed over the Crusaders in the ongoing war for the Holy Land, capturing and holding for ransom the French king, Louis IX. Amidst hmm. the glow of victory, the Ayyubids were ousted from Egypt, overthrown by their elite slave soldiers called the Mamluks, who in turn set about fighting amongst each other for power. Baybars, himself a distinguished Mamluk, had fled for his life as his rivals seized control. That's now he returns he to make peace with his nemesis, the Mamluk Sultan of Egypt, Kutuz. If the winds of war are brewing on the horizon, Baybars will not flee again. As a boy, he and his tribe, native to the western steppe, fled the swords of invaders. Taking refuge in the Crimean story, Peninsula, his people mm. were attacked by a regional warlord. Many were yep. killed, Baybars was sold into slavery. Okay. okay. In yeah. time, he was brought to Egypt, where he was sharpened, raised to fight as a Mamluk. The invaders who displaced his people so long ago were the Mongols. Mm. And now, envoys arrive in Cairo with a message from Hulagu Khan. From the King of Kings of East and West, the Supreme Khan, let Kutuz know that we are the soldiers of God on Earth, that he created us in his anger. Commit your fate to us before the veil is torn. Hmm. For we will not be touched by tears. Ooh, okay. You have heard oh, that we that have purified hard. the earth of the disorders which defiled it, and that we have slaughtered most of the inhabitants. Hmm. It's up to you to flee. What land will offer you refuge? Which road can save you? Your prayers to God against us will not be heeded. Hurry to give us an answer before the flames of war are ignited, and its sparks are cast upon you. He advises Kutus to warn no, his people. Say to Egypt, Hulagu has come, with swords unsheathed and sharp. The mightiest of her people will become humble. He will send their children to join the aged in death. Mm. Kutus has the four Mongol envoys publicly cut yeah. in half. Ooh. He hangs their heads from Babzuela, the southern gate of Cairo, 
and the army rides out for war. What happens when the Mongol envoys get killed, Jack? He cut it off <laughs> and then took the heads off. Then took the heads off. <laughs> Hulagu has moved to cooler pastures in the north with the main army. And the recent death of the great Khan Manka will further divert his attention from the front. He okay. has left only yeah. around 10,000 Mongols in the region under the command of his general, Kit Buka. Camped across Palestine, the land held holy by Jews, Christians, and Muslims. The Mongols have pillaged and made little effort to establish control. But word of the Mamluk advance reaches Kitbuka, and he rallies his warriors. Kutus and the Muslim Mamluk army, meanwhile, make camp outside the Crusader city of Acre, avowed mm -hmm. adversaries of Islam. Mm -hmm. Some Christians, the Georgians, Armenians, and more recently the ruler of Antioch and Tripoli, have submitted and taken to fighting alongside their Mongol overlords. Kitbuka okay. himself is a Christian. They don't like the Islam Franks that here much. in Acre refuse to throw in their lot with the ruthless Mongols. The Crusaders send out supplies to the Mamluks, a stifled show of support. Okay. Riding ahead, Baybars has located the Mongol force not far from a spring called Ein Jalut. And as twilight gives way to dawn over the hills of southeastern Galilee, the Mamluk army beholds the Mongols. Although joined by auxiliary troops, including Bedouins and Syrians, the core Mamluks are men who are sold as boys, raised in Islam, mm. and relentlessly drilled to be professional warriors, adept in horse archery and melee, often clad in mail and lamellar armor along with their horses. Mate, you get so immersed in this guy's Across goodness. the plain, Mongol heavy troops oh, yeah. menace in elaborate yeah. armor, Just in general. native to Mongolia or pillaged along the warpath. Yet the okay. standard Mongol warriors ride light, with little to no armor. They've known mm -hmm. horsemanship, archery, and war since infancy. Personal reserve horses grant them inexhaustible mobility on the battlefield. Yeah, First they ride blood with, is like, drawn by the horses. Mongols. Know that. Oh. Yeah, they ride with two extra horses so they can run back when the horses like tired and swap over. Heavy and cavalry smashes time. into the Mamluk line, followed by a terrible burst of arrows. Mamluks fall all around. Kutus feels the fear in his men. He shouts for them to hold position, to mm. fight for Islam, and to answer with a charge of their own. In the course of battle, an Ayyubid prince serving on the Mongol left deserts with his troops. The Mamluks likely swarm this open edge, and the Mongol horde becomes nice. entrenched in a bloody melee. Warriors in the eye of the storm tear each other apart with swords, axes, and spears. Horse archers exchange kills you, on the, the edges. Mamluks, but the At length, ones to the be Mongols to begin to crumble. Some leap from their mounts for a last stand. General Kitbuka is overrun, and his head is taken as a trophy by Kutus. Mm. Baybars oh. hunts the remaining fleeing Mongols and slaughters many in the hills. When the Mamluks find Mongols yes. hiding in a field of reeds, they set the field on fire. <laughs> Baybars is Word of fearsome. the defeat at Ein Jalut echoes across the land. Yeah, he's brutal, brutal wow. brother. Syria, he took it to the cities, fucking Mongols. <laughs> Kutus then rides south to return to Egypt. He had deposed the previous sultan and taken the throne less than a year prior. Before then, his allies had slain the companions. I see you. You haven't liked the video yet. Why not? Go on. Go like it. While you're at it, you know you want to subscribe. And if you want to go to our social medias, all the links you need are in the description box down below. And you might as well head over to our Patreon as well, where you can get extra bonus content if you're enjoying this. That link's in the description box down below. But we'll get straight back into the video. Love you guys. Canyons of Baybars. An account overseen by Baybars himself recounts the journey home. Baybars yeah. had already made arrangements with a small group of his followers. Riding beside Kutus and talking with him, he suddenly seized his hand and his sword, and then drew back from him and struck at him. Baybars killed. The result was his death yeah. and removal, as had been decreed by God. What Baybars did, he did himself. Touting his victory at Ein Jalut and his triumph over Kutus, Baybars receives the support of Egyptian commanders and becomes the Sultan of Egypt. <laughs> the distant Tulagu Khan does not think Ein Jalut a crushing defeat, but a prelude to vengeance. Mm. His massive army is untouched and eager for battle. But animosities have so grown between Tulagu and another Mongol prince to his north, Berka. 
Disputes over sovereignty and land have been further over. inflamed by Berka's prior conversion to Islam and consequent desire to punish Hulagu for his massacre of Baghdad and its caliph. The empire has begun right. to fracture yeah. into distinct khanates. A Mongol civil war to establish a new great khan rages on in the east. And now war erupts between Hulagu and Berka. When Baybars learns of this, he shrewdly forges an alliance with the fellow Muslim Berka and his golden horde khanate, whereby Berka permits the ongoing slave trade from his lands to Egypt, which <laughs> serves as the lifeblood of the Mamluk army. Engaged on two fronts, Hulagu seeks his own allies. In a letter to King Louis IX of France, the Mongol prince boasts that he massacred Baghdad and Aleppo, and that he captured al Nasir Yusuf, and suspicious of his loyalty, had the man's head stuck atop a gate in Tabriz. These attempts Showing at European Mongol alliances well. survive mm. Hulagu's death in 1265. Yeah. His son Abaka succeeds him as head of this ill Khanate. He it's marries the illegitimate the daughter Mongol of the Emma Byzantine Empire. Emperor Michael VIII, and later threatens Baybars, reminding the former slave, You are a Mamluk who was bought in Siwas. How do you rebel <laughs> against the kings of the earth? <sighs> And so, when Lord Edward of England leads a crusade in 1271, Abaka answers his call for aid. He sends 10,000 Mongols to pillage Syria, yet crusader Mongol efforts toward alliance rarely amount to effective cooperation. No, Baybars emerges with his army there. to find it's the Mongols have already returned north. He clashes with the crusaders and by some accounts sends a Nizari Ismaili assassin to kill the future King Edward. The agent stabs Edward, possibly with a poison dagger. Edward kills the assailant, but decides to abandon the crusade. Mm. Such are the means of survival in a web of Islamic oh, shit, Christian and Mongol interests. You're interest. killed by the gay you're trying to kill. Uh, uh, it depends if it's a suicide mission. Sometimes, sometimes you just send someone in who's disposable. Oh, fair enough. Oh, just, yeah. Yeah, sometimes, I, I would say, it depends what type of assassin you are. If you're, like, a paid assassin, then, yeah, of course. But if you're, like, a, a, an assassin who's been, like, taught and grown up and, like, for the cause. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah if you're for the cause, like, maybe not so much. Yeah. Um, but if you're, like, a paid and it's your career, then obviously you want to survive. But if you're doing it for the cause, I'd imagine that you don't mind dying. If you get what I'm saying. Mm. It's complicated by internecine divisions. The Mongol promise of revenge still looms, and in 1277, nearly two decades after the fateful battle at Ain Jalut, Baybars musters the Mamluk army and takes up his sword once more. The Sultan's visage again. betrays long years of war. The journey north feels more labored than it once did. Mm. Trekking through sand and mountains, the Mamluks stop to camp in the moonlit hills near Elbistan, Mongol territory. Oh, I think they're going on their attack. The Mongols gather in a nearby valley and inaugurate the day of battle with a vengeful onslaught. These paintings the are Mamluk amazing. The Mamluk left cracks. Mm. Apparently, apparently, I might be getting gassed up here I swear I read a comment on our page saying that these are all originally made and they're brought and you can buy them like NFTs he makes them himself and then you can like buy it and you're the only person to have it obviously you can watch it here but mm. you have the original copy oh, if sure. you got what I'm saying which is actually really interesting because these are beautiful yeah. men fall mangled by arrows and he gets more made. to reinforce the well, flank and shouts for a sure. counterattack. <laughs> The outnumbered works. Mongols cannot stem the Mamluk tide. The Mamluks cover them in blades and arrows. Mm. The tapestry of Mongol dead spreads thick over the whole plain. I know how to fight against them. In the days following, the elation of victory is heightened by the Islamic holiday of Eid. But Baybars forbids his men to play celebratory drums, lamenting. How can I rejoice? I had believed that if 10,000 horsemen of my army were to meet 30,000 Mongols, I would defeat them. But I met 7,000 Mongols with all my army. The Mongols aroused panic and my army lost heart. Without Allah's grace, they would have defeated us. Oh. Baybars dies later that year. Ain Jalut represented a halt to the Mongol advance, but it had been the cunning Baybars who held the line thereafter and built a fearsome Mamluk army. 
Four years after his death, a massive Mongol army invades Syria and the Mamluks vanquish them. Notwithstanding one major defeat in 1299, the Mamluks continue to thwart further Mongol conquest in the nice. region. The Mongols engage many worthy opponents on the remote edges of their empire, including the Knights of Europe, Samurai of Japan, and the Mamluks of Egypt. Yes. Even costly offensives Strong. do not break the Mongol horde. The greatest enemies, the ultimate undoing of the Mongol Empire, are the Mongols themselves. Yes, the infighting. Civil wars draw the mighty armies ever more inward. The very avarice, brutality, and claims to power that built the empire turn the Khans against each other. The vision mm. of unending conquest, dreamt by the long dead Genghis Khan, fades. Years ago, in the midst of his civil war against Hulagu, Berka Khan wandered through cold heaps of Mongol dead and lamented. Mongols are killed by Mongol swords. If we were united, then we would have conquered all of the world. Oh, so true. Mm. So unfortunate. The footage of Mongolia you're looking at right now and several clips in this video came from Storyblocks. Oh, okay. Seriously, if you do anything creative or for a business, nice. this is a great... Let us know. Indeed, that's a good that's series. Good. good, good series. Um, he didn't really cover it too much, but basically, Barbar was was uh, he figured out like the Mongol sort of main tactic was the feigned retreat. So he made sure that he never fell for the feigned retreat. Um, and and basically, his Mamluk army had a similar style, yeah. which was like horse archer like like similar attacks so they weren't going to get f uh, folded yeah. and then the other thing he done was whenever the mongols invaded instead of retreating everyone back into the castles he didn't do that because the mongols were really good at siege warfare he sort of kept them out mm. in the open so it was really interesting how baba done it i sort of um found a bit more out in another video but we thoroughly enjoyed this yeah. one history does make some amazing content if you haven't already head over to his page that links in the description box down below and of course whilst you're down there you can find our patreon link if you want to go see bonus content and extended clips and of course we're on our road to 10,000 subscribers so you know what you need to do you need to like comment subscribe, subscribe. hit that notification bell and we will catch you in the next video.